the year is 2023, my dudes, for now. We're about to litha break into 2024, and I thought I'd take the time to look back on this year of Kerbal. Lord knows it has definitely had its ups and its deep, deep downs. <laughs> By this I mean, let's take a look back at all the Kerbal videos I've made this year and come up with a top 10. Is this just super narcissistic and egotistical? Eh, probably. So, let's go! <laughs> at number 10, I gotta pick my very safe air launch rocket. Of course, the design was inspired by Redditor Johnny OneShot, but mine was of course bigger, and the rocket landed on Minmus! Haha! -ha. I think this video stands out to me this year because of the sheer ridiculousness of the launch, and you guys wouldn't have seen it in the finished product, but there were a lot of frustrated failed attempts at getting the rocket to eject without exploding, so maybe there's a bit of a sunk cost fallacy when it comes to including it in this video? Either way, it's a super funny way of deploying an air launch rocket, and that's why I'm putting it on this list. At number 9, it's back to Kerbal Space Program 1. This was the showcasing of the RFA-1 mod. While this wasn't really a big hitter in terms of views, I really like how this video came together. I think the way the editing worked out and the way the jokes played out and it all meshed together really nicely. And the video subject itself was pretty cool. This is a mod that adds the parts to build Rocket Factory Augsburg's RFA-1 rocket. Except, the mod was made by the actual Rocket Factory Augsburg team. I think another reason that this video stands out to me was because of the fact that it was a bit of a divergence from my normal style of video. It wasn't a build time lapse and then a mission of my own design, instead it was a pre-built rocket and payload, and I had to beat two difficult missions designed by the RFA team. The second one being especially finicky, but ultimately very fun to play. Number 8 is another KSP1 video, and it was another mod showcase at that. This was the video that I always wanted to make, as this colony mod is something I've known about for a few years, and I really wanted an excuse to visit it, and with interest in KSP2 declining, and me having done just about everything you can do in stock KSP1 at this point, I decided to dive in and give it a go. It was really fun toying around with the new parts, it actually got me all nostalgic for all those times when KSP1 was receiving updates, we would continually receive new things to try out. Building surface bases is one of my favourite things to do in Kerbal Space Program, so it was just really great having a dedicated set of really high quality parts to use, and I also just really like how the base ended up turning out, from the way it came together nicely in orbit, and how I managed to land it in one piece on the mun. It was a... It was a fun old time. <laughs> Number 7 is another KSP1 video, and this was super last minute, yet I really like how it turned out. This was my Maven But Better, published the week I was competing in the French KSP esports event, so I had very little time to come up with a video idea, do the thing, and then edit it. In fact, when trying to think of an idea for the video, I actually hit up Wikipedia to see if there were any spaceflight anniversaries on the day I planned to publish it, and the one that jumped out to me was the anniversary of NASA launching their Maven spacecraft, a Mars atmospheric research satellite that would orbit Mars and learn more about its atmosphere. And so, I challenged myself to build a craft that looked the same as the Maven, and was a similar size, but make it far superior for analysing Duna's atmosphere. And I think I did a pretty good job, adding a little door mechanism to the side of the craft, which would allow a Duna lander to depart and land on the surface of Duna, where a Kerbal could deploy a bunch of scientific apparatus, including a weather station, and of course gather surface samples. The whole thing then made it safely back to Kerbin, in my opinion achieving what I set out to achieve. This was another one that didn't really get crazy views, but I really liked it nonetheless. At number 6, I'm putting About Those Wobbly Rockets, and also I guess the follow-up video. So they could be like joint number 6, right? <laughs> I remember being really nervous about publishing this video because I really wasn't sure if my views would align with everyone in the community, but the wobbly rocket issue was something that I really cared about and I really wanted to use my platform to shine a light on. And well, it paid off. It turns out you were all overwhelmingly on the same page. Within hours of this video's upload, it gained a ton of views, and it hit the top of the KSP subreddit, and it was posted all over the KSP forums, uh, underneath the dev posts. <laughs> In the days that followed, Wobbly Rockets became the highest voted bug on the bug tracker, and was really propelled to the forefront of the conversation. Now, I don't want to take credit for it being a big reason that the 4 Science update heavily walked back the wobble, but I like to think that this video definitely sent a big message out to the developers and helped prioritise what I wanted prioritising, selfishly dictating development I guess. Maybe I'm overstepping, but I do think that this video, to at least some level, helped push the community's desire for non-wobbly rockets to the devs. 
At number 5, I'm putting down my Apollo-style KSP2 MUN mission. Or, in other words, my first ever KSP2 video! This was something I filmed at the KSP Insiders Early Access event at ESA, and I think I like this video a lot for sentimental reasons more than anything. It was a really exciting time being in Amsterdam and meeting fellow content creators and the KSP2 devs, and getting a chance to play the game early. And of course, the video now has my first ever rocket I ever built and launched immortalised in video form. Look at its horribleness. I hadn't yet figured out how to build fairings. I was in a, a massive rush, to be honest. We had three hours to just do whatever in the game, and I went in determined to get three videos worth of content. A full Apollo-style MUN trip, a single stage to orbit vehicle, and a Duna mission. Many a Red Bull was consumed that day, my friends. <laughs> Another thing I loved about this video was seeing all the comments. You see, people didn't know that I had KSP2 content yet, because this was one week before the, uh, now infamous, public launch. And it was really fun watching everyone lose their minds that this wasn't a normal KSP video, but was in fact a KSP2 video. Oh, those pre-release days. They were simpler times, eh? <laughs> Number 4 is my SR-71 launched space probe video. This was kind of a soft recreation of a craft I made all the way back in the ancient times of 2015, and I guess the mission itself was pretty simple. The reason I liked this video a lot was because of the fake multiplayer gag I did with Carnassa, pretending I was in a secret beta test server, and I went and sabotaged the launch of one of his space shuttles. It was really silly, honestly, but I don't know. I rewatched it, and I can't help but smile over our terrible voice acting work. Wait, what is that approaching? Oh no, He's, I've been seen. <laughs> it couldn't be. It is I. Not in this video. <laughs> <laughs> what? What is this thing, Matt? What? What are you doing with it? Oh, this is just like a little, uh, little rover. It's just a little, a little, a little reconnaissance rover. It doesn't doesn't have a bomb or anything in it. A likely story. Bomb arm. <laughs> are you sure about that? I just heard it say bomb armed. Hang on, Matt. Quick, 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 go! I can't skip the countdown! Why, why would it let me skip the countdown? Please, just look that! Go, 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 no! You just got unlaunched, baby! That's right, there can only be one KSP2 YouTuber, and it's not Karnasa. Number three is a video I like for similar reasons. It was my first ever air launch mission in KSP2, meant to be a virgin galactic but better type craft, with a small strato launcher sending a tourism space plane to low Kerbin orbit. Like the SR-71 video, all in all it was a fairly simple concept, but I was happy with the little gag that I threw in of putting a pilot voice on and talking to the crew, and viewers in the comments seem to really enjoy that as well. So yeah, I guess another silly entry on this list. In the likely event of emergency or total structural failure of the aircraft, the emergency exit is located above your heads. Unfortunately, you don't have an EVA parachute, so you regrettably will perish upon evacuation, but we hope you have a pleasant fall back down to Kerbin before embracing the eternal blackness of oblivion. But that's it from me for now, so sit back and enjoy the flight. At number 2, we're back in KSP1! This was my first KSP1 video after the release of KSP2, and I really liked how it turned out. This was an ambitious one. I asked ChatGPT to design a difficult mission plan for me to do in KSP, and it told me to build a space station with ample crew capacity, with the ability to explore the surface of Val with a lander, and also have the means to keep the lander refueled. I ended up with a gigantic craft that I hauled all the way to Joule, and there were a lot of unexpected challenges along the way. For example, I had to do an extremely dodgy docking sequence with the fuel tank to get it relocated to the right part of the space station, all the while my electric charge rapidly decreasing because I forgot to add solar panels. It was pretty intense, but that only made the results all the more rewarding, and so that's why it takes the number two spot. And my number one video was the KSP1 esports video I did. This had a lot more editing put into it than usual, and given that the footage was captured over a gruelling 24 hour period in an esports setting, there was a lot more footage to work with as well. And of course, the content itself was really fun, splicing real life clips of me and Beardy Penguin in France, and it gave me a good old chance to reminisce about the event. Working on the video was pretty fun as well. Me and Beardy and our girlfriends both captured our own footage of the event, so it was really fun digging through the stuff that was sent over to me after it was all over, and I bet it was probably a similar experience for Beardy. Ultimately, we also won the esports competition, which was the perfect cherry on the cake for the video. 
the number one spot on this list was easily the easiest spot to choose a video for. This was definitely the video that I was most proud of this year. So, hey, if that's not an advertisement to check it out now, then I don't know what is. In fact, I'll make it the top card on screen right now for you to click. And the lowest suggestion will be one picked just for you by the algorithm, so hopefully it's an equally good pick. Thank you for sticking with me. 2023 has certainly been an interesting year for Kerbal Space Program, and as the updates for KSP2 keep on rolling in, I'm really looking forward to seeing what comes next. I hope you all have an excellent new year, and I'll see you in the next one.